Hello, I'm Dan Buttrey, and I'm the co-author of a new book that's just come out, Healing the World, Gustavo Perejón, Peacemaking and Public Health Pioneer. Gustavo was from Nicaragua, and back in the 1980s when the wars were going on in Central America, in Nicaragua and El Salvador, uh, we had this big mission conference, and I was working for our denomination, the American Baptist Churches, and Gustavo was a missionary with us in Nicaragua, and a friend of mine, Stan Slade, was in El Salvador. So the three of us were on a panel at this mission conference to talk about what was happening in Central America. We each made a presentation, and then after the presentations, there was time for questions. And so this, the first questioner just popped to his feet and, and wagging his finger at us. He just says, are you telling me that our president isn't telling us the truth about what's happening in Central America? You could tell by his attitude that he believed the president over against uh, his missionaries. And Stan and I both tense up. We were expecting some sort of conflict to arise from our presentations. And so we're, we're just getting ready for the battle. And Gustavo calmly just puts his hands on both of our forearms. And he says, I'll take this. And he said, brother, I didn't get your name. You could just feel the tension lesson in the room even from the questioner as he heard those words brother I didn't get your name all of a sudden what was full of anger and division was being being connected at the level of we are brothers here we are connected and you can at least show the the courtesy of telling me your name so that we can engage with our discussion and, and our differences within the context of relationship that was a huge lesson to me because so often it's easy to just say it's me versus the other, us versus them. And of course, they are all wrong, so there must be something terrible about them. But that simple question, brother, I didn't get your name, puts relationship first. I found as a peacemaker that that was my biggest lesson to not demonize the other side. But brother, sister, what's your name? Let's build the relationship, and then from that we can de dig into the deep questions. And so this book, Healing the World, about Gustavo Perejón, it's going to be available uh, on January 24th at all the major booksellers. It'll be available in hardcover, softcover, and ebook. I want to encourage you to get it because Gustavo has inspired and changed my life, and I think reading about Gustavo person you may not know anything about right now, but once you read the book, you'll be finding that he has inspired and changed your life as well. Thank you very much.